Hey there, Sam. Writing software is hard. Maintaining and making sure that our software is working is even harder. And that's exactly the reason on why we always want to test our code before shipping it. When it comes to testing, there are generally a few ways to achieve this. And there are manual testing, unit testing, feature testing, and end-to-end -end testing, or E2E for short. Manual testing is the one that we're most familiar with. That involves the developer to physically go through the code and check if they're working. On the other hand, the other three in this list are considered as automated testing. And that's where the developer would write a script to test the functions or features in an app. As long as the test cases in this script has passed, we'll know that our app is working. The main benefit of automated testing is that we can quickly test our code with minimal human input. And it will really shine if we're building a large app. So the idea is, every time if we add a new feature or functions to our code, we would run the automated testing script and as long as the script passes, we can be sure that the newly added code is not breaking our code. And this is very, very useful because we no longer need to go back and manually redo the test for all the functions and features that we have written before. Now let's talk more about the differences between unit testing, feature testing, and end-to-end -end testing. Unit testing, as its name suggests, is testing done on the smallest possible unit in an app. And the smallest possible unit in an app is normally a function. In other words, you can think of an app is made out of a lot of small functions that work together to deliver a feature. So the idea of unit testing is to write a test for all the functions in our app. If all the tests pass, that means all the building block of our app is working. So our app as a whole should work, right? Well, not really. That is not necessarily true. Here's a few examples on what could go wrong when we solely rely on unit testing. They are sad, but true. Unit test is meant to be fast to execute, but not necessarily reliable. In contrast, feature testing is the notion of testing a feature in an app. Feature testing is a higher level approach compared to unit testing. It focuses more on the feature rather than making sure that each function in our app is working. And that makes it a more reliable test compared to unit testing. For example, suppose we are testing for the post creation feature in our app. In the case of unit testing, we would test for something like, can we insert a title for the post? Or can we insert the body for the post? Does it accept a string, a number, or an array? Are we expecting an exception when we give it a different data type and other smaller functions that build up the post creation logic? Now for feature testing, we'll be looking at different things. We will only care about if an operation will actually create a record in our database. So if we were to run the post creation logic, in feature testing, we'll go ahead and fetch the newly created record in our database and verify it and see if the title and the body were inserted correctly. End-to-end -end testing is the highest up in the food chain. It's on an even higher level than feature testing. In a nutshell, end-to-end -end testing would actually mock the user interaction and test our app as it mimics an actual user. For example, if we were to test our post creation logic, an end-to-end -end testing would be a script that actually tries to visit the web page in our app that creates a post. The program will attempt to submit the form on behalf of the user and validate the result to see if it's actually working. And similar to feature testing, end-to-end -end testing doesn't care about the individual functions in our app. Instead, it'll put a lot of emphasis on the output of the app, which in our example that we just discussed, it'll test if the form that we use to create the post is working correctly. End-to-end -end testing is highly reliable, but very hard to implement. Now, in terms of reliability, manual testing has questionable reliability because it really depends on how well the tester understand how the program works. And also under the assumption that the tester did not overlook a certain feature in the app. Unit testing is not that reliable compared to the other method. And it is because even though you can make sure that every single function in our app is working perfectly, there is simply no guarantee that they will work well together as a group. In comparison, feature testing is much more reliable because it ensures that a feature is doing what it's supposed to be doing. End-to-end -end testing has the highest reliability among them all because it is directly mocking the end user's behavior. In terms of speed, manual testing is very, very, very slow. And the reason is, as we discussed earlier, every time we introduce a new feature, we need to go back and retest all the features that we have done so far in order to make sure the new feature does not break our code. Unit testing is fast because it is testing small functions in our app and they are very lightweight. Feature testing is slower than unit testing 
because they usually involve database operations or a group of functions running together. End-to-end -to -end testing is the slowest among all because mimicking a user is very time-consuming and delicate. End-to-end -end testing is more relevant in front-end development, and it won't be our focus in building an API server. In the upcoming videos, we'll dive deeper into writing unit tests and feature tests in Laravel. I'll see you there. Key takeaway for this lesson, unit testing is the notion of testing the smallest units or building blocks in our app. In other words, functions. If the basic building blocks are working, then the app should work, although this is not necessarily true. Feature testing focuses on the feature and the outcome rather than the individual functions in our app. It is more reliable than unit testing, but slower. End-to-end -end testing mocks the end user's behavior and has the highest reliability among all. However, end-to-end -end testing is very hard to implement and very slow. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.